And wonderful for Paul as well, just two weeks after that horrendous fall here. Yeah, I didn't see that far, but they said it was quite bad. But uh, no, it's great for everyone. Great for the breeders, the whole yard, everybody, you know. What were you expecting coming into today? Well, I was I was stood looking at the betting and he was outside a lot and I thought, well, that is the biggest joke I've seen for a long time now because there's handicappers in front of him. He's a group three winner. But look, strictly on, on, on York and his last run, that's probably where he should have been, but he's back to his best, which is good now, you know. And what was the difference between those first two impressive performances this season and the next two blowouts? Well, as, as I said, at York, he got very upset. He got a, a, a hind leg caught in the back, back of the stalls for about 20 seconds. He came home, not just right. I couldn't say he was lame. I jogged him up after the race, seemed fine, but he was stiff, so we left him. And then Newcastle the other day in the chip chase, it was just bottomless there, and he just couldn't cope with it now, you know. I, I saw Jamie Spencer coming in on our Jonathan, who's a mud lover, and he says, "Well, this is unraceable, you know." So, so you can you can there's, see that there's difference. heavy and there's heavy. It was heavy here today. <laughs> there is, but there's also firm and firm. But this uh, Newcastle was bottomless. This this was soft. It's, you know, yielding they call it in Ireland. You know, it's sort of lovely ground. You know, but he, he showed he likes soft ground, but he couldn't cope with that heavy stuff at Newcastle. You know, so it's great. Will you go back to five for the Nunthorpe now? He's in the Nunthorpe. A little bit worried about going back there from the last experience, but look, we'll speak, get him home, speak to the owners and see what's happening. You know? I think you're going to have to go and pick up your, your trophy. Many congratulations, Richard. Thanks very much for talking. Thank